Hey guys, check it out. I just got promoted. My first promo, my first stripe at Gracie Baja. In honor of these five months and 50 classes that I have completed that got me a promo. Thank you, Professor Opiano. Uh, I'm going to dedicate this vlog to five things that I've learned in five months, over 50 classes, doing jujitsu. So, number one thing that I learned is how to tie these pants. These are Brazilian pants. They're not like your typical elastic drawstring. Simple trick. Once you got your thing here, you just gotta pull it to the side. Bam! Tight, pull, and bam! That's how you tie the pants. It took me about a month to get it right. That's number one. Number two, finding quick and effective ways and cost-effective ways, actually, uh, to recover. PVC pipe, wrapped in athletic tape, foam roller, actually it's hard roller, and jigsaw massager. Number three, how to fold your damn gi for travel. It's easy, actually. One, two, right? And then bring that over, make a really nice square, bring the thing down, Right? And then, do the next side, bring it over, bring that down, and then, key thing here is fold from the bottom up. So once you have everything nice and tucked, fold one, fold two, and boom, you've got a folded gi. You can stuff your uh, rash guard, your under, under rash guard, if you want to call it that. Um, Stuff your pants, fold them up, put it inside, and then fold that belt in half, uh, bring it around, and grab that little loop, stuff it through, boom, you got yourself handy dandy thing, throw it over the shoulder, and you're ready to go. But, another quick tip, um, uh, this uh, could also, uh, if it doesn't fit, and sometimes I have a uh, have trouble fitting this into my suitcase because I'm going uh, and I have a little too much stuff. This literally takes up half the space. Uh, just get on the airplane. Hey guys, uh, yeah, this is just my jacket that I'm gonna wear because uh, I couldn't fit it in my suitcase. That's the other thing you can resort to. Tip number four, get full sleeve. Long sleeve, full sleeve uh, under rash guard as well as uh, your legging lash, uh, rash guards, it will make things so much easier, especially in the sense of when you've got, you know, the under le legging rash guards and stuff is cotton, even when it gets wet, it's not gonna stick. So that's a very important tip. I mean, this took me about two months to learn in the sense of before I wore regular, you know, shorts, and then I got something that was a little bit longer. But the problem with uh, just the ones that are up to here, they, they, they end up climbing. So if you get the full long ones, they tend to stay down. Number five, keep a journal. Keep a, uh, just like how you would in, uh, uh, as a workout journal. Usually workout journal is just like, hey, these are the workouts I'm gonna do, this is the workout that I've got planned. Uh, Jiu-Jitsu journal. Uh, is or a BJJ journal, whatever you want to call it, is an, uh, basically what I do, what's worked really well for me, is I write down what we did that day, and after that, uh, I'll also make a note of uh, what uh, stood, stood out for me, uh, and what are the things that I felt like that I need to work on and drill. And so, that's basically it. Those are my five things I learned in five months and 50 classes of going to jiu-jitsu over here at Gracie Baja here in Houston. And just a bonus thing that I really, really uh, definitely enjoyed, um, I guess I'll make this number six, is the travel. Generally speaking, I travel a lot for work, so we get one of these uh, uh, travel cards, and it's kind of like a passport, I feel like. It's my visitor student card, and so whenever I go, uh, as you can see, you got Atlanta, Forsyth, I got Gracie Baja Carrollton from uh, uh, Dallas area, um, uh, uh, Centennial from Denver, 
So it's kind of like, uh, it'd be cool if they had actual stamps or whatnot, but if they wrote it on the back here, I'm keeping it. Uh, if they wrote it on the front, I gotta erase it because whenever the new month starts and I'm traveling, um, they gotta start filling that in. But uh, as bonus number six, uh, you have no excuse to not train, especially when you're traveling. So hope you guys found this video of enjoyment and a benefit. Submit every day. This is the Karate Black Belt's journey into Jiu Jitsu. I'll see you soon.